I am here, standing. You are here, standing. We are here, standing, united against genocides. On the side of memory and history and peace and humanity and justice and truth. Look around you. See, you're not alone. We are standing together. Not because we are Armenian, because we are people. People whose lives are bound up in the history of our world, in the values of our shared humanity. We are standing because every Armenian life wasted on the altar of inhumanity is a loss to us all. We are here because a century after their deaths we say that their lives, every life, still matters. We are here because the genocide of the Armenians, which began a century ago, will scar our world for millennia to come. We are here remembering that when, when women and children were dragged out of their homes and sent into the desert and the fear and the pain and the cold and the heat and the hunger and the thirst and the rope and the bullets were all tools of genocidal government that determined that those people would die simply and only because they were Armenians. We are here to speak out on behalf of the silenced, because we will not be silenced, not in their name, not in ours, not in mine. We will not be silent. We will speak truth to genocide. Listen. The bells toll 100 times for 100 years of loss and agonizing sorrow. Where are the children who should have been born, the lives that should have been lived, the hearts that should have loved? Where is the laughter in the streets, the hopes and the dreams of a lost generation? Where are the memories, the family trees that should have grown lush in their fertile soil, uprooted, wilted, in the cruelty of our hostile world. It was no accident that women and children burned up in the desert sun. No accident that town by town, street by street, house by house, one by one, homes were emptied, lives destroyed, until there was no one left to speak the unspeakable pain. It was no accident of history or strange fate of misfortune that befell them, no consequence of war or famine. It was designed, it was planned, it was ordered. The foreboding of a century of genocide, that crime of crimes, the attempt to destroy the Armenians wherever they were to be found, to destroy that ethnic and religious group by killing members of that group causing serious bodily harm to members of that group, deliberately inflicting on members of that group conditions of life that calculated to bring about their physical destruction, imposing measures on that group intended to prevent births, forcibly transferring children of that group to another. And that, by definition, we call genocide. There is... There is no denying it. No one has the power to deny the truth. No one has the power to deny their dignity. No one has the power to control the past, to redefine it. Memory outlives amnesia. History outlives politics. Fact always prevails over falsehood. We will not deny those innocents, our forebears, our family, the dignity of naming the crime that murdered them, the crime that crushes our soul, whoever we are, from wherever we come. We will not let the perpetrators away with murder. We stand here together because we know that if you deny the past, you are powerless in the present, and we refuse to be made powerless. If you cannot name a genocide 100 years on, how will you name it today? If you do not have the strength to confront the evil of the past, 
how will you confront evil in the present? So I say, let's be united against genocide, ignore the weakness of the deniers, let history find them out, be proud of who we are, whoever we are, reflect on the lives lived, strong in our own conviction of our place in the world, never to be cowed by vacuous threats, convinced, always convinced, by our own values. Let us lead by example, because we have the strength of truth on our side, Rise above, ambassadors for humanity, because we know more than anyone that anger and hatred never pays. We stand together in sorrow and in silence, and as we do so, we listen to our past. Survivors of the Armenian Genocide have spoken their truth, so listen to the, will, the witnesses of those faces you have seen on the screens today here in Times Square on the USC Shoah Foundation tonight. Let their words linger in our minds and in our hearts so that their truth, our truth, the truth prevails. That's why I'm here, standing. That's why you are here, standing. We are here standing united against genocide on the side of memory, of history, and peace, and humanity, and justice, and truth. Thank you.